Them folks, you tripping on them motherfuckers. Bought my hex from the fucking start. Uh -huh. Point one in every day we mark. Bought my hex from the fucking start. Uh -huh. Sacrificing all this bread like I'm Richard Hart. Got paid on big payday and I had a hairy start. Now I'm checking on my pulls just to check my heart. Uh -huh. Buy my hex from the fucking start. Sacrificing all this bread like I'm Richard Hart. Got paid on big payday and I had a hairy start. Now I'm checking on my pulls just to check my heart. Checking my metamask moving. Look at the hex he is mooning. Looking at why they be choosing. Peter is why they be losing. Pull chains out and get me a check. He's gas up and got me a mess. Remember the times he died, collect. Hex I me mean, eating, I'm dying in the best. Getting this back like a year ago. Getting this post, I ain't letting go. Swerve on the ring like a Lambo. Getting this back like a year ago. Getting this post, I ain't letting go. Swerve on the ring like a Lambo. Buy my hex from the fucking start. Sacrificing all this bread like I'm Richard Hart. Got paid on big payday and I had a hairy start. Now I'm checking on my pulls just to check my heart. Buy my hex from the fucking start. Sacrificing all this bread like I'm Richard Hart. Got paid on big payday and I had a hairy start. Now I'm checking on my pulls just to check my heart. Copyright boys. Hey Ty. Thanks for having us, Ty. Well, great to be here. Bit of an impromptu show. It's not uh, people probably wondering why we've got all the win win guys on, but we uh, we will be doing an up and coming stream with those guys soon. If you haven't heard about them already, um, they have a project coming to Pulse Chain, and we will uh, revisit that in the future. Um, but tonight. Uh, Magic Carpet Ride have finally got their multi-sender done and some of the guys that are part of the win-win team were instrumental in uh, early on when we were doing our uh, sacrifices and discussing um, how we're going to get all the uh, airdrops, potential airdrops that come out. And uh, so through the brain trust and brainstorming with them, we went away uh, to... Uh, a good friend of mine, a dev, Simon, thank you for what you've done for us. This is uh, going to save us a lot of time and uh, made us a multi-sender. And so tonight we're going to test it. And uh, I want to thank JBags because he was one of the, the guys that was instrumental in uh, getting me to think about going down this route and not having to do this manually because that would have uh, been really bad. Yeah, appreciate that, Ty. That's um, It's been a long journey. Um, so yeah, just wanted to say thanks to you and Dad for building an awesome tool for the Magic Carpet Ride community. So yeah, yeah. Well, thank you guys for helping out, and you know you've obviously been in our chats, always you know, the Telegram talking to people. You, you, it's not like you've uh, just come into the space. Some of you guys are hexagons from the start. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I know some of you were from right from the start. Maybe some of you has come along along the way, but um, I'm sure we can go into more details of that when we when we do a stream with. Uh, triplet dad who can't be with us at the moment he is moving house he's been moving house for about a week or so 
um, didn't get much notice, had to find a new place and move after 11 years. So 11 years of moving, uh, of build up of, of property to move is, is not fun. But um, thinking of your buddy and looking forward to when you come back, um, that's for sure. Yeah, wish him all the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, so before we get into the multi-sender, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, DeFi Ds and DeFi Proof. Proof was the uh, the gentleman who made that intro. I know some of you hexagons and Posicans uh, are familiar with that anthem. Um, I just might go ahead and share the screen and just give you a quick show. DeFi Proof, go give him a, a like and subscribe on YouTube. He makes songs about crypto. There are plenty of them. Um, go check them all out. Um, there's some really cool tunes in there. Uh, also, they have a... Actually, it's not on there. You can probably see it on one of their videos. But I'll put it all in the show notes, uh, link to their Telegram group, and obviously his Twitter and his channel. So I'm sure he's going to make more tracks about Pulse Chain, Pulse X to come. Um, and this Who is DeFi Proof is a really cool little six minute clip on him uh, and his story from um, uh, life of crime or jail and getting out and then turning his life around. It's pretty cool. It's six minutes long. Doesn't have a lot of views. So go give him a bit of love and follow him because I think the tune he made for the Hex and Pulse Chain community, uh, I think is, is I, I like it. It's banging. What do you guys think? Yeah. Absolutely. That's how I start my day off, just vibing out to that. <laughs> I don't know if I vibe out to it every day, but it's it does pump you up. Like if you're, you know, if you're uh if you're a little down and you, you want to get pumped. I know the markets are, are pretty pretty blood right now, so it's a bit of unusual turmoil with Luna and UST. Um I know though when I when I crank that tune up it's it's pretty cool. Um so yeah, anyway, what we'll do is I didn't want to have a long show, just wanted to like uh, give you guys a slight introduction for a future show. And then I know, like I said, because J-Bags was instrumental in the multi-center, just I wanted, none of these guys have seen it. They've seen some screenshots because we've done some test sends. We did a, a test send for uh, 1.5555 um, yesterday. And then we did another test send today for 1.369 PLSX. And the reason we did that and not do the whole entire uh, estimated sacrifice uh, points to the sacrifice set is because when the PulseX team went to the V2B uh, fork of Testnet, uh, the snapshot, uh, the, the balance uh, that they had for the PulseX was out. For us, it was out by about 8%, which was about 6 billion tokens. So we were 6 billion tokens short of the latest updates that they've put out, which you can check on the checker. They do move around a little bit and they are bringing them out almost every other day and they seem to be getting quite close. I think mainnet is imminent, maybe, and this is just my opinion, maybe before the end of the month or just on the end of the month. Uh, I guess time will tell, but um, we're definitely close. So what we've decided to do tonight is I wanted to show everyone the multi-sender and how it works. And we're going to send an estimate. So take note of that word. It is an estimate of the amount of tokens that uh, you may receive if there is an airdrop in the future uh, divided by 10,000 because, again, we didn't have enough tokens to do the entire one for one. So simply when you check your wallet and you get that amount, times it by 10,000 and you're going to be in the ballpark of what you may receive should there be an airdrop uh, when Pulse Chain goes live. So without further ado, we might just uh, get into that. So I'm going to bring back my shared screen and you guys can tell me if everything is looking okay. Hopefully it is. Yeah, it looks great. All right, cool. So our Magic Sacrifice multi-sender, thank you Simon again for making this for us. It's, it's not all super shiny and pro. I mean, I like it. It's pretty clean. It wasn't really made um, as a front end for the public yet. Uh, it's something that we want to put through the, through its paces, but you may see this come out um, 
as a utility for Magic Carpet Ride in the near future. Uh, we have got some ideas, uh, not just to use it as a multi center, but some other ideas. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. So this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's connected to the Pulse Chain testnet. Um, we're just using a dummy wallet that we've put in some uh, Pulse X to send to our sacrifice set. And it's the same address we've used for the last two sends. And this is the contract address for our multi sender. So it has a little toggle, a little, uh, sorry, a little bar here that tells you how far along you are through what we're going to do. So it tells you to select a token. I've already connected my wallet. So whatever's in this wallet, when I click on here, it's going to bring up. So in this wallet, I have test pulse and I have PLSX. Obviously they're both test coins, but PLSX did not have a T in it um, when they released it. So for tonight, we are going to do the PLSX to our group. So it loads the correct contract for the PLSS token in. So on the next uh, area, they have put some examples in here so they didn't have to train me. It was just like a pretty straightforward. I can either choose a file, which is a CSV file, and I can load that, or I can just simply um, copy and paste it. I'm not gonna import it. I've got the file. It's got all the unique addresses and I've put um, the amount of, uh, the estimated amount of tokens that they should receive divided by 10,000 for this particular test. So I'm just gonna paste it in. And as you can see, it puts all these addresses in uh, with a little comma and then all the unique amounts divided by 10,000 again for this particular test. And so now I'm simply gonna go to next. It then tells me the total amount to be sent in PLSX, which is 8,523,411,000.8099999. Um, I checked this figure in my Excel before I was sending, and this figure is the correct figure. Um, it tells me what my balance in my wallet is. So I've actually got a little bit more in my wallet that I'm sending, which is always a good thing. And it tells me how much test PLS, which obviously I'm going to need a little bit of that for gas. Um, but you're going to be amazed because we're going to be sending to all of these addresses, which are listed here. And there's 10 pages. What is it? 10 pages, 526 unique addresses. Uh, so all these addresses are going to get all these amounts, these unique amounts. Um, so we're just going to go next. So the next screen is going to MetaMask. Is that showing up there, boys? Just making sure because I'm on a different screen to you guys. Yep, yeah, it looks like it's coming up. Yep. Cool. So on this MetaMask screen, it's actually uh, wanting to get permission to interact with the contract. So this isn't actually asking us to send, it's just confirming. Now, we always tell people when they're interacting with contracts, um, don't just go straight to confirm. Like have a look at the permissions and see, see what you're actually um, confirming or agreeing to allow this particular contract to do. So if I go into here, this is going to tell me that I've, I'm going to approve an amount, which is this amount here, which is the amount that we need to send. So I've approved it. You can put a custom amount in. Just be aware, because when you go to some contracts and you hit edit permissions, this could be set to um, unlimited. Now, for some things like exchanges, like Uniswap and whatnot, you actually do need it to be unlimited. Um, you can revoke those permissions at a later date, but you do need them. But if you're just interacting with a simple token to do a send and it wants unlimited spend, I'd be very wary of that. Um, but for this particular instance, my dev's done a great job and it's automatically populating a limit, which is the limit that I've already uh, said that I want to send to our sacrifice set for this test. So by hitting uh, the save and go back out of here, I'm going to hit confirm. So now it's going to confirm that on the test net. As you can see, there's a little timer there. And this is just to approve. It's a bit like when you go, uh, go to Matcha for the first time, you want to do a limit order. Um, you've got to approve the spend. You want to do a limit order with USDC and HEX. You've got to approve that, um, that uh, interaction with the contract. And then after that, you set your limit order. We have a lot of people that come into the Pulse Chain Telegram chat and say, hey, I did this 
tried to do a limit order and it took my uh, small amount of money and didn't do my limit order. I'm like, all you've done is approved the contract. So yeah, so that's what we're doing here. We've just basically done an approval um, to, to, to interact with this contract and do what you want to do. So confirm approved transaction MetaMask. Wait for the transaction to be mined, which it's now been mined, then press the next button. And as you can see this bar up here, we're further along. So we're just going to do what it says. Now it tells us uh, verify the addresses and values. So as you can see, I don't really need to because I posted, pasted them in here from my own Excel. The, 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 the amount has not changed. The allowance, as you can see, the allowance is the same. And I've got gas to send it. And it needs to be broken up into three transactions because there's 526 transactions in total. So if you're happy with everything you see, basically going to hit the next button and it's going back to MetaMask. So basically now what happens is it's asking me, it's going to ask me to confirm these transactions. Um, and if I scroll down, reject all three transactions or I can confirm them and I'll be confirming them one at a time. So I'm going to go confirm. It's going to go to the next one. And then there's two left. I'm going to go confirm again. How much gas is that using? Doesn't look quite much at all. It's not a lot. And we can check this out on the blockchain later. It's pretty crazy. As you can see, it's decimals, right? Like yeah. we've done we've done a number of these um, uh, already. And I can tell you we've done, it's around 1,600 transactions for less than two PLS for 1,600 transactions. Yes. So that gives you an idea. So now it comes back. And it says sign all three. So that's what we did to send the tokens to many recipients in the Modicent. We did that, confirm the Modicent transactions, wait for the transactions to be mined, check the transactions on Etherscan. Obviously, it's not Etherscan, but, um, <clears throat> and that can be changed later. This is a, a beta version. Um, so as you can see, uh, all transactions are mined. Congratulations. And it actually offers you uh, a TX hash for all of these, which is pretty damn cool. So at this point, you can actually um, go to the blockchain. These may not have taken place just yet. They still might be pending. I've had some of them go through pretty quick. I've had some of these take, I wanna say maybe 30 seconds to a minute, but that's to, it's possibly because there's, you know, 300 transactions in, a, in, in one batch. Um, but let's let's see. haven't tried to use this in full screen mode from here, so I'm not sure if that's actually gonna bring it up. There we go, confirmed. So that was batch one. And as you can see, it said it did it within three seconds. It may have taken a bit longer, but pretty cool. And as you can see, all the addresses, all the individual amounts, this is showing up for you, right boys? Yep, absolutely. Cool, uh, all the different amounts. Um, and what's really cool about this is when you get down to the bottom. So imagine having to do this manually. No, thank you. <laughs> a lot of pressure <laughs> on your hands. Oh, trip with dad's hands, not mine. Fast, fast fingers. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot, right? All the, and all these different amounts. And then... It's got the total down the bottom. It's got the total in this particular batch, the total amount. And if you would get the calculator and we were to do add up all three of them, the, the total will add up um, to what we requested to send. And as you can see, here's the, here's the, here's the transaction fee. Mm. So there, there's, there's how much it all cost. Like it's fractions, right? Fast and fractions. Like so, uh, thank you, Richard Hart. The, um, the chain is working well, that's for sure. The devs, the devs done a really good job on that. It looks really yeah. nice and easy to use. Pretty keen to, to hear more in the future about the other plans you have for it. 
Yeah, so at the moment we're just um, battle testing it. Um, you know, we're going to try and do um, lots more sends. We are actually going to do a send of PLSX to our Liquid Loans sacrifice set, and we're actually going to we're actually going to do that um, to the entire sacrifice set. So whether you did the zero lock, the six month, the twelve month, the eighteen, or the twenty four with us, and what we're going to do is we're going to put dot zero zero on the no lock and then we're going to put dot zero six on the six month and dot one two and so on so people will know when they get those amounts like because we know people that went in all five right they did a zero and they did a six a 12 an 18 and a 24. so they will get four transactions from us four cents and it's 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 just this is just our verification process so everyone knows that um they're in the sacrifice set, they didn't miss out. And if they did a ladder, like they did all of those different lockup periods, they'll get one from each of us and the denominator after the decimal tells, you know, that was a six month wallet and 12 months and so on. So then they just know that we've got them covered, which is pretty cool. So yeah, when it's done, we just go back home and it's ready to go again. And obviously depending on what uh, you have in your wallet uh, you can send so if you had a range of coins uh, you could you know start sending them out so that's pretty much how it works uh, pretty pretty happy with that yeah it looks awesome Ty. it's uh the anxiety levels have come down because uh, our dev just had his third child he was off for a while and I felt really bad, but I had to reach out and say, hey, mate, I, I feel like we're getting really close to Pulse Chain launch. And the last thing I want to do is have a community going, where's my tokens? Uh, I know it probably would save a lot of them because they're probably going to go and wreck themselves ratio <laughs> trading. And we urge them not to do some of that unless they're super experienced, but some of them are going to go do it. Um, we didn't want to be to blame for that, though, by not getting their tokens. We'll give them to them and let them do what they want. So our aim is, depending on what time Pulse Chain goes live, but hopefully, you know, if it's within a range, we may decide to stay up. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see what Richard says. But when that happens, our aim is to obviously see the amount that gets delivered, which everyone will be able to visibly see in our wallet. And then I plug that amount into our Excel it then adjust everyone's amount based on that amount because that amount has been changing every time they put out a new sacrifice set balance. Uh, but I've set up the Excel now, so I just put in the amount that they give us and it redistributes it as per the percentage of the pool. Once that's done, it's a couple of simple lines of code to um, attach it to the to the address and to, and to send it out as you saw here. So it should uh, it should be pretty quick. Well, the dev's done a great job, and it's arrived at pretty much the perfect time um, if we're only a few weeks away. Yeah. So I think it will be really reassuring for the community too to understand how any airdrop tokens might make their way to their wallets in the future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah, so we've got some other ideas. I'm not going to go into them now, but, um, yeah, it's just a, a bit of a relief. And I know <laughs> I bet it is. TD, TD's been busy, but I know he was... He saw me posting stuff up and he's like, why is he got, he, he said, because he's obviously got access to the Magic Carpet Ride Twitter and it was getting all these notifications. He's like, what's going on? And I'm like, oh yeah, we got this bro. And I started doing tests. So, and I'm going to do some battle tests. So we are, even though we've tested this set and we know it's good because we've, you know, obviously in the real world, if you didn't have test tokens, you'd want to make sure you've got, I guess everything right before you send it but we're in a position where we've got all these test tokens so we can we can go and test this to our heart's content on the test net even when mainnet's live if you wanted to test say a set of addresses to make sure that they will work you could do it but i am going to try and break it in the sense of i'm going to like do a like a small uh send to like 10 wallets but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out some characters in one or two of the wallets and just see how it handles that. Uh, my see where tell, it files. My dad tells me, 
Yeah, well, my dev tells me it should just tell you, it should just skip over the two invalid addresses and keep doing the rest and then actually tell you at the end, these two addresses are invalid. Um, we did have that on a earlier scripted version and it was the dev's mistake. He was mucking around with the zero uh, X369 number because that's the wallet we used for the initial send and there happened to be a wallet with 369 in it and he must have been doing a fine replace and took out those three numbers so we had one address fail basically and then i he, he, he showed me the address and i went and did an audit on the excel and found the address and said yeah it's missing three digits and here's the digits it's 369 what are the odds <laughs> <laughs> so it made it easy to to work out but that wasn't part of this multi center it was a script that he was he was running on the first one um but yeah, yeah. Is there a maximum yeah. of addresses that you could send the tokens to? Uh, does no. it kind of max out at any point or could you just keep going? No, it maxes out of whatever you got in your wallet. So basically, it just you saw that was in three batches, right? Yeah. So depending on how many um, addresses there are, it'll... it'll they, he's programmed it to probably... Uh, he's probably put a percentage in there or something, but with a with a like a max, you know, of 200 or 300 per. So, cause there's only so many you want in one batch. So if I had 3000 addresses, you probably would have seen that do 10 batches at mm. least 10 or 12 if, batches. What if you had the same address in there multiple times, would it send one transaction or multiple transactions? And it'll send multiple if you had, if you had it in there multiple times, it's just, it, it's just reading the wallets and sending what you tell it. So I either, yeah, and that's why we didn't, in our set, we didn't, um, to reduce the amount of transactions and also um, to make it less confusing as well, we just did a subtotal for everyone and that's and that's what we're going to send them their, their total. Yeah. Yeah, I know with some of the other multi-sends that I've used, like if the parameters you put in or the inputs are wrong, it'll sort of stop it at the point where you load the csv file into it so i'm wondering whether or not maybe you can implement yeah, something like that in so it actually stops you from sending it well it, it, it might actually do that i like i said ours ours is obviously correct so my next step is yeah behind the scenes is now i'm going to deliberately throw some spanners in the work and see how it handles it it might do what you just said j bags it might actually say hey this one's dodgy or it might do it and at the end say we sent 525 i know you wanted 526 this is the one invalid address so yeah it'd be, it'd be nice to see. Keep, yeah, yeah it'd be, it would, and it'd be nice to catch it at the start so you can mitigate against having to go back and redo um other stuff yeah, so, yeah. It, it i suppose it depends how many it is because you if it's a time sensitive thing and you had thousands of wallets and there was one or two dodgy addresses but yeah, I'd, I'd probably prefer to get everything out and know the two dodgy addresses and then just resend the two dodgy addresses. Yeah, you know, fix those yeah. and send those out. Yeah. If it was time sensitive matter, you know, that's that's all I'd be thinking about. You know, some of these guys they wanna they wanna trade, mate. As soon as Pulse Chain drops, <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not down. Just with breathe. That. Just breathe. Yeah, just watch breathe. what get happens. Some, get Enjoy the popcorn. rise. Sit Sell back. the bottom by the top. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be pretty erratic there for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, um, 30 minutes, pretty quick. I said to J Bags tonight, come on, come on stream. Let's just do a quick introduction. And I want to show you my multi center. I don't want to, I want to share this with someone. I didn't want to do it by myself. And uh, he was quite reluctant and then um, ended up dragging, I wouldn't say the whole team, but part of the team in. Um, Sorry guys. I think they, I think they were just, they wanted to see our multi sender, because uh, like I said, they were there at the start when we were talking about it, and I know J Bags was playing around with one of his own on testnet, so I thought, well, who better to share it with than some of the guys that um, prompted us about it at the at the beginning. Yeah, I really appreciate you having us on, Ty. So yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, in the future we will, um, guys, do a, a show with Win Win when they're ready. Um, again, on the banner there, as you see, TME, win, win, DeFi. Um, I will put in the show notes once this gets uh, goes live, 
links to their Twitter, uh, to their website and to their Telegram. Go and see those guys and um, ask questions. But we will um, have some a couple of at least a couple of streams with these guys once they're once they're ready um, to do with not only their uh, the actual project itself, but uh, I presume at some point in the future there will be some sort of sacrifice. So um, they're not in a super rush for that right now. They just want to get everything right. Yeah, spot on. Cool. Well, yeah, if you guys uh, don't have anything else to say, um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, Pulse Chain is just around the corner. Uh, just before we go, predictions? Any predictions? End of the month? Two weeks? Two more weeks? <laughs> it's always two more, two more weeks, more isn't weeks. it? <laughs> yeah, it's always two more weeks. It's a rolling yeah. two more weeks. Yeah, it could be. It could be. All right, cool, guys. Um, thanks for making the time to come on. Uh, it's always good to have fellow Aussies on. And um, until we do our official show. Thanks, thanks for having us. Awesome. Thank you, Ty. Cool. Thanks, guys. Take care. Chat later. Bye. See ya.